New at 11 now, a beating in a Volusia County school, a student thrown to the ground, then punched in the face. The victim's family saying this was all over a friend request online. News 6's Lauren Korn spoke to the family, now planning to file a lawsuit against the school board. When I got the video, I'm screaming because this is my son, this is my boy. Sylvia Polaretsky says her family is broken after a student attacked her 13-year-old son at Hinson Middle School, then posted the video on social media. <laughs> the mother says the school failed to protect her son, who's only been in this country for less than a year and is a straight-A student. He's hurt emotionally, physically. We spend the day in the ER. I know the incident from him, not from the school because nobody called me. The Polaretsky family says they plan to sue the boy's family and the school board for lack of supervision in common areas and not notifying them or providing care for their son. The parents need to be the ones constantly checking in with their children because the school board isn't going to do it for you and you cannot trust um, that we've now seen that the school board will have sufficient supervision on campus to ensure the safety of your child. Attorney Jason Haar also says he's filing for an internal investigation as to why the parents weren't notified. We do it. Now. The family says they've since removed the child from school and pursuing other options. I put my trust to this public school, but I don't trust them anymore. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Korn, News 6.